engine invented in uh, America in the 1880s, called quickly a bottle engine by the American people because the Coca-Cola bottle was invented and the shape of the engine reminded them of that. The engine came out of the first skyscraper in the world in Chicago as the fire pump in the basement. We've attached it here by belt drive to a generator which, when working, will energise the magnet. Something new you could do with steam power making electricity uh, in the 1880s. It's a little... Uh, my granny sewing machine, that. So... Yeah. Generator should be excited now. You're watching, darling. Scanner, like that. Catch. Ah. Wow. So that's what you could do with that. The generator was used to put silver plate on cutlery once upon a time. This is a well, another thing you can do with electricity. See, deposit silver. This is a paddle steamer engine, possibly made at Goolwa in South Australia down the Murray. It exhibits another one of that is it? Yeah. Yeah. another one of Stevenson's patents here, the two rods connected by a link. The boiler was his patent. He gave the inventors 20 guineas for their trouble and uh, made a millions out of little things like this. So the paddle steamer is running ahead. Captain seal the log up ahead. We're going to have to stop quickly and pull out of the way. He calls, pull the stern. The engineers reverse the engine. So you can stop the engine to see it's all okay and go back the other way. So in 1842, that little mechanism there put the uh, industrial revolution into overdrive. Uh, it helped shipping, mining and railways exponentially. Uh, at the time, everything was done mechanically and you had to literally do things like stop things, didn't you? Yeah, that's you did. This little engine made during the Second World War on the fly to war finish. It's got a uh, number of features about it, probably that. It was put on the Atlantic run in a ship to pump hot seawater out of the condensers into the ocean. So for the children here, they, they were able to see pumping lots of delta out over there, lots and lots of water. When they were at sea, they would pump millions of litres an hour. Hard for kids to see that. Little ships like the Aurora carrying troops or supplies on the Atlantic run would receive a shell from the U-boat rather than waste a torpedo. This is the fire service pump off the ship. You'll see here, steam at this end, water at this end, pump of water in the tank if you can't see. That's what that was used for. The ash from the combustion in the furnaces of the boilers was dumped into the ocean using the ash hoist engine here attached to a three to one rope body that means the engine could be a third the size of a big one to drive directly so we're using the pulley system three to one here there's the ship belching coal smoke there the weight will be lifted up Steam track 